Uh, today, we got a ton of different topics to discuss. We got uh, five of them that we are going to hit today. Uh, we may as well go ahead and jump in on the main one. UFC 249 has been postponed. Now, yesterday... Well, we spent like the last week and a half yeah. talking about how they're going to pull this off, all these things, and then all of a sudden, as soon as we got off the show yesterday, the rug is pulled out from under us. Is not happening. Yeah. And it's. I did say on the show yesterday that it seemed kind of trivial to uh, to be doing this right now, even though I want it to happen. Uh, it was still trivial to to hold it right now, just because of of the optics, right? And I said yesterday, if you don't like the optics, that's fine. You don't have to watch. But I, yeah, it was it was definitely strange to be doing it, especially in the United States, in California. Where uh, where they were having such a such an issue with everything, and you know now nothing. Um, I, the biggest question that everybody wanted to know was why why were they pushing to do this so much? Obviously, you've got fighters that need to make money, you've got all that, but it turns out the the biggest reason here is uh, Endeavor Entertainment. You know, uh, William Morris and IMG put their thing together. Their, uh, their companies together and formed Endeavor. And the whole premise behind this is they paid $4 billion for this league that is not worth $4 billion. That's that, right. Basically. Uh, you and I have talked about this for years. Ever since that thing happened, um, they, they bought the league at its peak. They bought UFC at its peak when Conor McGregor had, you know, all these rivalries going on. And there were there were faces to the sport, and you weren't getting these big fights canceled, and everything was was seeming like it was moving way up, and now it's not. Um, it is it is strange uh, that they would push so hard for this, but I I mean I understand where they were coming from, but it is just weird uh, to not. You know, it, it's it's weird that, that it took reports coming out that they were actually going to do it in California and then the senator in California coming out and asking them not to do this, even though it's on tribal land, saying you're taking resources away from people that really need it. And then they went to Disney. What resources are they taking away? Uh, health officials and or, or uh, uh, health professionals and whatnot. Uh, the big here's another big issue with this because they never told the fighters where they were fighting, right? That's you, another UFC, problem. UFC has their own medical professionals that work with them. Yeah. So yes, these people are probably able to volunteer at a high school, but you're talking about three or four people. You're not talking about they're, they're taking you know twenty doctors and nurses and and ambulances away from the from the area. That that's just a bullshit argument. It's, like if you don't want them to do it then that's a different conversation. But don't make up bullshit things that aren't real. Well, and the, say this is why. So here, here's the other side of this. You're resources away from the area that desperately need them. A, if they're on an Indian reservation, then that area doesn't desperately need them. I assure you, they don't have the population density that the rest of California does. Agree. I know that. I've been on Indian reservations. Yeah, this is, it's just outside it's of Fresno, time. so it, yeah. it's not around a major city. And that's the other issue is... <laughs> They didn't tell the fighters where they were fighting. Uh, they, if it, say, God forbid, you ended up having something like the Anderson Silva incident, where you have a a horrific uh, fracture, a horrific broken bone, and whatnot. You have something major happen during the fight. You are forty miles away from uh, from the nearest hospital. Yeah, but you don't think you don't think those Indian casinos, just like our casinos here, get some of these smaller fights that happen all the time that are a long way away from any hospital. Uh, no, I know it happens, uh, <laughs> but we haven't seen UFC do it. You know, at the I, end of the day, it's it, it, it's no different. Somebody gets hurt, they get hurt. If they're forty miles away, you just got to get there. I literally tore every ligament in my leg out in the middle of Clarksdale, Mississippi, the, and my foot was stuck. The knee bends this way. Right. All right. I was wearing a knee brace. Foot got turned around like this. The brace held it. They kept it turned around backwards and iced the entire thing. I sat 
in the in the uh, locker room the rest of the game. This happened in like the third quarter or whatever of a game. And I sat riced and then rode the bus all the way back from Clarksdale. And then three guys loaded me into the back of my cousin's pickup truck because I couldn't bend my knee to sit in a car. And I rode in the back of a pickup truck with my football pants still on home and crutched my way back in the house overnight. Like, I'm not saying these guys have to do that, but getting hurt 40 miles away from a hospital is not anything new in the world. Agreed. Agreed. I, I just, if here's the deal, did Disney tell you to not do it? Then that's the reason you didn't do it. Yeah, okay, that's, oh, he that. said that's the reason that they that they then did. let's stop with the other things that were said because those things are all just lies. I don't think they're lies. I think it's reasons not to do it, and it's why it, the reason why California and whatnot didn't want it to happen uh, has more to do with I think the optics and uh, this is what Matt was saying on on YouTube, which Goro one eighty seven jumps in on Twitch. Uh, he said hi, nice to see you, Goro. Thanks for joining in. Matt jumps in on YouTube. He said, it can be a PR thing. Even if they have one doctor for the fight, even if they work for UFC, the argument is they are taken away from treating people for days. And, yes. I get I get it, that. It's I get PR. That. It's fine. But at the, at the end of the day, you know, I, I just think at some point in time, optics need to get out of this. If you can do it safely and you can have the fights and you're going to the Indian land, I, I think it's great for the reservations. These reservations need a way to make money. They do. Yeah. You know, yeah. our nation has screwed the Indian reservations for decades, for centuries. And, you know, for them to have an opportunity to make some money off this thing is probably not a bad deal. Yeah. No, you're, uh, you're now right. that's taken away because people don't like the way it looks. Yeah. Yeah. I just listen. If you give me real hard arguments, I, I'm a reasonable person. I really am. Okay. I'm pretty right down the road politically and if you can make a good strong argument as to one thing or another then i'll follow you i'll at least entertain it with you you know but but none of these are good reasons to not do something that yeah. you want to do and you think has value to your company has very low risk probability of something going wrong and like like if we're just going to play the you know well, it's not safe thing well you know we can save 30,000 lives by making the speed limit 5 miles an hour everywhere because then no one will ever die in a car accident yeah but that's we don't true. do that because we understand that's ridiculous it doesn't make sense and those 30,000 lives are just a cost of doing business. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You can call me a heartless bastard. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm just I understand. Saying, yeah. I, I get it. I don't, I haven't seen a good reason outside of our number one payer of this. We've sold this thing to Disney, to ESPN, and they don't like it. So we got to stop. Yeah. I mean, they weren't going to broadcast it. So once they stop, you know, once they say that they're Why not going they to broadcast, can't they just pay per view it then? Uh, because uh, ESPN has the exclusive rights to all of the fights, so ESPN has the right to tell them not to do it. Like that's that's the thing. Now, if you end up going rogue uh, and you break the contract, well, then you no. you no, have you don't an even do bigger that. issue. I get I get yeah. the business side of not wanting to do that. I don't like that Disney doesn't want them to do it. I just don't. I just well, don't I think understand it's, it, it's, why a, it's not that big of a deal. In it's California, a political thing in California. Like it's that, because that Disney. Is, so if they found a, an Indian reservation in Mississippi, can they do it there? Because we don't have that big of a problem. We did. Seems to be fixing pretty good. Arizona, how bad are they? Can they go there? I, like, I, I, I think Oklahoma? it has. I think it has more to do with who you know and what. And now they can't do it next weekend now because I mean, how are you going to find a place and, and get everything set up? Um, I agree. And, and I think that this is why Dana was making sure that he didn't tell anybody where they were doing this stuff, right? He just he didn't want all that to get out, and then by the time you find out where it is, it's too late to stop it anyway. Yeah. Um, but either way, you know, it is what it is. Uh, 